Matt, I'm so excited to talk to you because yeah, yeah. your new, uh, I guess, startup company, Mu Music Benefactors, is a new like kind of a uh, funding way for different uh, recording artists and bands and stuff. That so many people now do the stage, it, you're, they're funding their next album or project through this. So uh, where did you kind of, I guess, first get the idea for this? I always like kind of know the journey of like how yeah. businesses start and stuff, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, you know, my background was not music. Um, mm. it was more on the finance and investment side of things, you know, you know, structuring, you know, private deals, you know, smaller things, you know, maybe an apartment community or, uh, nothing major. I'd never worked for a hedge fund or, you know, private equity firm. Um, gotcha. and then I started looking at music, you know, probably 10 or 12 years ago, you know, from an investment perspective, obviously, you know, streaming was, you know, was coming about and, you know, you hear about all of these, you know, hedge funds and hypnosis yeah. are, they're purchasing, you know, these music catalogs. Um, and so I was kind of looking at it the same way, like, okay, music now, because of streaming, it's the, the cash flow is very predictable and it's become an investment class. And, how I got here was, you know, because I'm not on that institutional money side of things, and it's always been the kind of, you know, a smaller investor, you know, I wanted to create something that allowed, you know, bands, recording artists, you know, music venues, indie labels, music tech companies to raise capital. And they had changed the securities laws right after the credit crisis when they passed what was known as the Jobs Act which allowed for what they, what is known as regulation crowdfunding. So now all investors, not just, you know, the institutional money can invest in private companies. So a lot of some of these, there's about 50 of these platforms in existence, but none of them are focused on independent music. Like we are, um, you know, they were on in the real estate or oil and gas or, you know, technology. Um, mm -hmm. What I wanted to do is, you know, allow fans and that attachment that they have to music to help recording artists, um, yeah. you know, because they can now, because the way music is, you know, is being played and, and kind of monetizes, you know, the word, you know, they yeah. can, they can make money by helping these artists, you know, fund projects. And, and your, yours is unique because they kind of you can actually get money back through it before it was just like you fund and then you were just happy to see that the next album get made, or maybe you got like a free t-shirt or something that came out of it. Um, yeah. so this talk about that aspect of it. Yeah. It used to, it used to be just some swag, right. Um, mm -hmm. they, uh, with, you know, the traditional crowd funders like Kickstarter, Indiegogo, you know, you back a campaign, you get a, an album or a t-shirt or whatever. So what, what separates us from them is the, the fans or the investors or the backers, they have an equity interest in these projects. So they are co-owners, they're partners in these projects with the recording artists. So they, it kind of, it brings them, you know, further into the process. We, we, we strengthen that connection between recording artists and, and fan. So if a project is successful, you know, the fan will be able to participate in the, in the streaming royalties or the, you know, the, the physical sales, or even when, you know, a music is used in any kind of film or TV project or, or commercial. Yeah. So it's really, you know, it, it kind of, uh, you know, someone was telling me it, you've democratized the music industry because, you know, you're allowing independent artists access to capital. And before the only way that they could get money was by, you know, signing a, a label deal with, you know, one of the big threes or BMG. And, you know, that's, they, they had the marketing money then to go out and, and make a record and, and, and market it, marketing it. And you so hear important. so many stories about bands getting screwed from labels and stuff over the years. Too. Yeah. The, uh, the, the big word is recoup, right? You know, the, yeah. the, the label gets everything it puts back into an artist before that artist gets pretty much anything. And it's, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're finance companies is what the labels are. Um, you know, they do do That's some. A good way to put it. Yeah. 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 So, it. and they, they pretty much, they're lending money to the artist. You know, you get a label deal, which everybody talks like, Oh, you, you, you got signed, you know, and they might give, you know, you know, 250 or half a million dollars. Um, but that's a loan. You know, you, they're going to make sure that they recover everything that they put into you um, before you start collecting on those royalties. 
what we do is we bring the fan in to, br- to, to provide that capital that the label might do. And the artist has their, you know, they've got, they've got a lot of flexibility now that they can make the music that they want to make. And instead of, you know, getting, you know, 10% of the royalties, the, the artist can get, you know, 70 or 80% and the, and the fan will collect, you know, 20 or 30% of the, of the royalties. So we're, we're trying to flip the model for the artist. Very cool. And yeah. uh, how does like someone like pick someone that's something to invest in? Is there like they go from past music thinking they're going to write like the next big hit or is there like demos or something like, oh, I want to hear this professionally recorded. I'm going to invest in this. So what we do is we will work on behalf of artists looking to raise money for projects. Okay. So we have a we're working right now. There's a band in San Diego called the Latin Dead that's on our platform. Oh yeah, they're like the Grateful Dead with like with Latin jazz. Yeah, so yeah, they 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 kind of like they so they are the first. They are the first band to ever issue and sell equity to the public. Gotcha. Um, And then we have probably three or four more projects that we'll be posting in April. Mm -hmm. And um, one is a a a hip hop artist from Savannah, Georgia. His name is Really Khalil. Um, So he'll be the first hip hop artist to to sell you know, equity to the public. So, you know, it's not an IPO because the the stuff doesn't trade publicly, but he is selling shares to the general public. So it's, uh, it's interesting. And then we got a couple other things. We have a a country tribute album that we're working on. There's a a legendary writer. His name is Bruce Bird. She's worked with, you know, all the country legends, like Reba McIntyre. So what he's doing is he's putting together a, um, a tribute album. So what they're doing is they're writing a bunch of songs to, you know, about the country legends, and then they're going to have the younger country stars, you know, record the music. So kind of so a. So you basically a, are looking for artists to promote, or yeah, people so, present stuff to you. Okay, so it's yeah, not like every, there's like you go on the site and there's there's millions of different artists. You kind of like filter it down, so it's like here's the bread, bread and butter, you know, the good stuff. Yeah, we have to. That's like, part of that, you know, that thing that makes us different than you know, the, the traditional crowd funders, there's a vetting process. So it yeah. has to be a, you know, a viable business project, you know, just because someone has well, a couple smart, of years. Otherwise you're going to have yeah. a million different bands on your, on your <laughs> that's exactly, lost. that's exactly, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And so since we're just focusing on independent music, it'll be easy to find. So we may have, you know, anywhere from say 10 to 50 artists that you could choose to invest in. Gotcha. Very cool. Yeah. Um, you said that you got a hip hop artist, country artist, any, any, any in the rock world from like, the, that's my favorite type of music that you got coming up maybe, or are you still? Yeah. So we got, we've got a few more things. No one's kind of signed the, the paperwork yet, but we have a, another artist. Uh, she goes by bright lights. Her name is Heather bright. She is a pretty, pretty prolific writer. You, got, you should check her out. She's, um, she's written Herbert. for like Justin Bieber. She's written for um uh, okay that's where i know her from yeah she's a, yeah so she's written for beaver and i think she uh she's also written for britney spears so she does a lot of stuff she's going to be doing a i think we're gonna be doing an ep or a single for her oh, and cool. uh, a video so she's really cool i mean she this this woman knows her stuff like she's been running the show and kind of the the project manager of her career for a long time and i think that's kind of the model that we mm-hmm. want to see other artists kind of take over because she when i talked to her she's like yeah this is what i need to do this is amount of money um you know i'm going to have these three well-known artists you know sing with me and uh and she's got it going on yeah so we're talking to a bunch of different rock bands that's kind of where my 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 favorite genre is as well um mm-hmm. i've got some young daughters so they introduced me to the hip-hop stuff yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Right on. Um, so uh, can bands like contact and present their stuff, uh, I guess, if, you're, if, they're, if they watch this and be like, hey, this is something I would love to get involved in or. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They, they can find us on our site, which is you know, musicbenefactors.com. You know, there's a contact mm-hmm. us page. Um, yeah, absolutely. They can. We're, we're happy to talk to them. You know, I love talking to, to, to artists and musicians. And, you know, the idea is to help them, you know, follow that passion, you know, do what they love to do. Um, you know, money is just kind of that, the tool we're providing for them. They have the, you know, they're in charge of this project and we want to just kind of give them the tools that they need to, to do things on their own. 
What a what a day and age, you know. When I was in bands in high school and college, you know, there was a, I don't think we even had MySpace then, so it wasn't anything to get like you know your music online yeah. or streaming. And now you got all all these different things we can easily distribute online, and now you got this amazing platform, you know. So yeah, yeah it's amazing how easy it is to you know get music out there. I think there's something yeah. like sixty thousand uploads to Spotify every day. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> right and so now that's the problem it's kind of like the internet yeah, there's, there's, so many. Yeah. there's no editor right there's everything is up there um so what we want to do is we you know so you need that marketing money so how do we help these artists separate themselves from you know from from the major labels to you know the people that are just you know kind of spitballing and just throwing whatever out there yeah exactly well, what a smart uh, yeah. company, man. I, 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 this is going to really blow up, I feel like, down the road once it gets going, you know, so. Yeah. And well, uh, that's the hope, it. right? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I could see once the, once the words get out about it, you know. Yeah. I think like, a lot of, I mean, and even because, like, there's a lot of bands that, like, were on major labels and then now they're, like, contracts off. I could see them more coming to this kind of thing, you know, and they already have an like, audience, too, so. Yeah. We'll and that's who, goes. that's their, their, you know, we want to turn, you know, fans into music investors. That's the mm -hmm. idea. And, you know, you can still, you know, enjoy the music and you get a lot of satisfaction. And when you hear that song play, you're like, Hey, I, I financed that song. That's, yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> that's right. You know, I'm the I backer. Got little, I, I got a little piece of that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> There's about a quarter of a penny coming our way sometimes. Yeah. Soon. Hey. <laughs> Uh, if that song takes off you know that's right and then you have a billion and it's more motivation for you to promote that song so yeah that's exactly I, I see how this works wow yeah so i'm sure all these investors are going to be telling their friends all about their their projects yeah sweet. well matt uh like i said brilliant idea and uh i look forward to hopefully uh, meeting a person someday at some event or concert when things are getting back to normal and then uh, yeah absolutely so yeah, well, man, we'll talk everybody... down the road when you got other new artists you're gonna need to promote and they're up there so all right sounds good man i appreciate it